Hello, viewers of YouTube. How are you today? Galactic Visions here, or otherwise to you guys known as Art Visions. Um, today I'm going to do a how-to tutorial. A um, couple of reasons why. I think that my experience should be shared with people on YouTube, as well as ratings. I'd like to get some more subscribers. <laughs> But seriously, let's move on to the, the segment you guys are waiting for. What kind of colors, what kind of paint rather, should I be using with my airbrush? I just ran out, I spent $500 on a compressor kit with an airbrush like this, an Iwata HP SB Plus, amazing by the way, tool, and I'll do a video on how to use and clean this baby um, in later segments. But for this part, I just want to cover your basic types of paints that you will be using with your airbrush and which ones are good and which ones aren't and what you can mix in with your paints to uh, make your life easier okay so in this tray here we have your goldens uh, they make this noise when you shake them and they really never ever get clogged they're really the best kind of paint you can buy they come in a variety of colors, everything from orange to yellow, green, etc. Um, again, those are goldens for airbrush, not to be confused with goldens, not for airbrush, because that will clog your airbrush and you'll be out of commission faster than you can say airbrush. <laughs> um, now, moving on to this section, I have here, I have CreateX, which is really the worst brand you can buy and you can find this everywhere actually any kind of supply hardware store uh, art store you're going to go to like uh, pearl or any other place will probably have these and they get clogged right away in your airbrush no matter you know what you're using but especially if you're going to go for the fluorescent ones the fluorescent ones which i tend to use a lot as you can see i do uh, psychedelic art and there's a little bit i don't know if you guys can get that some of the art hanging up there um, well these clog a lot so don't I wasted my money buying this trying it out seeing what it's worth this whole thing I just place it right in the garbage technically um, but for fluorescence there is an alternative and what I really have grown to love is the spectra brand Spectros do not get clogged for fluorescent colors at all. And if you like to experiment with fluorescent colors, you'll also be needing to use goldens as well. You can mix them. I tend to apply the goldens first and then the, the fluorescent ones after. It gives a really nice effect to your artwork um, if you're into that kind of thing. If not, Spectra is also a great um, product and I definitely recommend it. And there is also private stock, which is not bad, but it still clogs up every now and then. And not, maybe not as often as the CreateX, but definitely uh, premium stock is somewhere between the CreateX and the Spectra. So those are basically the three major guys I wanted to talk about. Also dilutants. Um, if you want to dilute some of your paint, get a little bit of thinner color going without adding any white or anything like that maybe you want a haze or like some sort of cloud effect in in the background um, you could definitely use dilutants like gamzol which is non-toxic it's uh, good for just about any dilutant whether you're working with oil whether you're working with acrylics um, you could definitely use gamzol or uh, for acrylics since it's not oil based and they are water based I always tend to have a bottle of water just lying in one of these empty suckers it's not here right now it's probably lying around somewhere but um, that's another alternative to water it's great so um, thanks for listening I hope you guys learned something from this I know I definitely did even though it cost me some money maybe I could save you some money um, passing on this info which I consider pretty valuable again it's Greg Freeman um, peace love create lots of art be very creative Wishing you guys all the best and stay tuned for my next segment on how to use the airbrush. Pass it on info. Peace, yo.